All right. Hello, my name is Zero. Um, just gonna be making a pretty quick take. Um, pretty probably not gonna edit a whole lot. Uh, just a tutorial for highway skip on coastal. Uh, first off, you are going to want to come here uh, at the start. You want to get preferably three um, plasma grenades, but if you only get two, that's fine. Um, if you get one, you're you're kind of out of luck. You may as well reset because y you want to get all of the plasma grenades here just because then you don't have to rely on RNG on the actual highway. But uh, most of this tutorial will be assuming you know like how to actually run the level normally. Um, so it won't be going over the end fight or uh, the like, you know, the Virgil teleport right there. Um, but yeah, like I said, just make sure you get two or three plasmas, preferably three. I don't know why Virgil is stuck here. That's weird. Um, and then you could head on to the highway. Set tight. We'll need the alien to power on the switch. So once you're on the highway, uh, you're going to get right into the hog. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting into the passenger seat or anything. Um, and first things first, before you line up, uh, it's kind of important. Not you don't need to, but you want to run over that fuel rod grunt. Sometimes he will shoot a fuel rod, which will actually, like, it can flip you over and all sorts of things. But um, if you don't, then he'll probably mess up with your lineup. But right here, you want to line up just like this. Uh, lagged a little bit there. Um, pretty much just in the middle of these lines. It's not super precise. Um, but you want to make sure you also have the slight tilt on your hog, like you see. Uh, not too much, not too little. Um, again, though, the tilt doors. isn't super precise either. So, this is pretty much the position. Uh, then you'll get out, grab these rockets, uh, plasma selected. Now, you want to line up right about here. Um, this is probably more precise than anything. Uh, you're going to look straight up, and you're going to jump. Plasma, frag, frag, plasma, and well, there you go. There's sometimes Buck likes to uh, do that, but that's the lineup. Uh, and then you want to shoot a rocket. Um, this is kind of where the inconsistency comes in with this trick. Uh, sometimes it will go over the wall, but not as far as we need it to. Um, but there we go. That looks good. Um, so. You basically just need to get it past, like, I don't know if you could see what I'm talking about, but just kind of past this line here, um, the lighter gray that you can see in the back. Uh, it can go a little bit lower than that, but that's just kind of a safe spot if you want to be extra safe. Um, so, uh, once you're good with that, uh, you're going to come over here, get the other hog, and... Um, you're going to want to grab plasmas. I'm just looking around right here for plasmas on the ground. Maybe that, you know, buck killed, but I didn't find any. So uh, generally you do want to take the hog, but a lot of the time you'll get lucky and there will be plasmas just on the ground nearby. Uh, so getting the hog, um, I mean, realistically, if this were an IL, I would have reset by now, but just for the purposes of this... Uh, demonstration, you know, I'll hopefully get plasmas from one of these guys. Hey, this guy. Hey, there we go. So, yeah, you need two plasmas, one frag for this second lineup. Um, whoops. Shotgun. And, uh, it doesn't matter if Buck gets in again, but you just want to line up pretty much along, pretty much like this. Um, you just don't want to go further than that line that I just shot. Um, but generally, this is a pretty good lineup. Uh, and then this lineup is pretty inconsistent, I would say. Um, but you just want to make sure you have this space in the back of the hog and not too much space in front. So uh, now is where the inconsistency actually shows up. Um, Oh yeah, and you don't want to have the hog like that. 
either. Um, you just want to have it kind of right on the edge. So uh, what you can do is come over here into this trigger um, to get a checkpoint and for another reason we'll cover a little later. If you jump you delay it you can get it right here. It's pretty useful to get this checkpoint because you can fail this quite a bit. Um, you're gonna basically uh, jump in plasma and then frag and then you're gonna throw a plasma behind. Um, with this it's really just gonna be a lot of trial and error. Find what works for you. Um, so I actually in this uh, when I was recording this tutorial took a, I took a lot of time to do get this because this one's really hard. So we have a situation. Heads up, we got company. Whoa, what just happened? You see that? Alright, so right here, um, I just want to show that if you get Buck out, it can kind of help just because he can also run into the way of your grenades. Um, I'm also... Okay, well, whatever. Um, but I think this is the lineup that worked, should be... Yeah, okay. So, or not. <laughs> I guess it's the next one. Um... Just gonna there you go so you don't want to you want to land above the death barrier um and you want to land you make you want to make sure you don't hit the elastic barrier um above uh, quite a bit above you but um the death barrier is pretty much right there um like kind of on this line here i guess but a little bit lower um you just want to make sure you land above that and you'll probably be fine. It checks on a one second cycle, so if you land within that cycle, you are you could be fine, but generally you want to land above it just to be safe. But Now, getting yourself out um, is pretty simple. Uh, all you're going to do is get in your hog, and you want to drive pretty much into the elastic barrier here. Just get out, and you'll pretty much be fully out. You don't want to go down, obviously, or you'll go back in. You can't take that hog, though. Because it is still trapped inside. This one, however, is not. So, uh, part of the reason why we hit that trigger earlier is because um, we don't have to worry about teleporting uh, if the hog happens to get launched in there. So, um, now I'm just going to be covering all of the triggers themselves, though. Uh, most of them are pretty simple, but some of them are kind of precise. Uh, these first two are pretty much just drive through the middle. Um, you want to make sure you're slowing down around those corners, otherwise you might actually, uh, there's a chance that you'll, uh, hit the trigger if you don't slow down, uh, because they do extend quite a bit out, and if you hit the trigger in the wrong spot, you will teleport, run will die. Um, this next one, the second one here, same thing, it's another middle lineup, um, but this one you do have to hit a load. And you can just jump right over, like so, jump right back in your hog, um, and then pretty much just drive through the middle here. And this next one, which would be the third, um, is what I like to call precise lineup. Uh, it's uh, as misleading as the name may sound. It's not terribly precise, um, but uh, you don't want to drive through the middle here. And actually, let me show you something here uh, about if you do happen to go too fast um, and what happens if you accidentally hit the trigger in the right spot. So, pretty much that. Uh, that's run dead if that happens. So, don't do that. Slow down around these corners. Um, anyway, yeah, back on topic. This is fourth trigger. Um, or, excuse me, third. My bad. Um, like I said, I call it precise just because it's not as big, but you want to basically hit in this little, this black bar here, um, like so, pretty much. I would generally stick to the left of it, but, uh, you also don't want to go, like, too low, um, because, 
I don't know, it's really weird. But if you, like, hit it in a very slightly wrong place, then you will teleport, run will die, unless you want to revert, which is going to lose you, like, upwards of 10 seconds. But uh, these next two, again, are middle, so... This one, which is the fourth, you can just pretty much drive through the middle. Nothing too special. And then... Right here as well. Just drive right through the middle. And you don't have to worry about those banshees. Uh, you can't hijack them or anything, as far as I know. So, Although, I think you might be able to do Kazingo Method on some banshees on this level. Not all of them, but it might be possible on some of them. I wouldn't do it, though. It's a bad idea. Um, anyway... Uh, right here, this one is Scorpion Door. This is the only one that varies drastically from the rest. Um, it's another precise lineup, but you want to line up pretty much with this line here. Uh, don't line up with the corner. Uh, it can be misleading. Make sure you line up with uh, this gray line here. Just walk forward into it. You'll hit the trigger once you see Buck teleport, or you'll see the splits. Of course, right now, I don't have them on, unfortunately. Um, but this next one as well is another precise lineup, but it's the same as the third one pretty much, so nothing too different here, although you will see me hit a load. Um, it's pretty much the same as the other one that I hit earlier on the second door. You just jump over and jump back. And you can't actually get pushed into the trigger volume by these banshees. It's happened to me once. Um, it's really unfortunate, but just try to be kind of careful. Um, now this one is kind of weird for me. Uh, just it's pretty much the same as the other, as the second one. Um, but I like to go at it kind of at an angle because sometimes it just doesn't like to work. Like there, obviously I was kind of off there, but I like to go at it kind of like at an angle like I just did. Um, that way it'll never fail, just in case anyone does have issues with that, because I used to have a lot of issues with that one. But once you're good with that, you're just gonna head on through. And for this dome section, uh, you wanna basically just cut onto this dome and I align with that building right there in the middle of my, uh, like, hog crosshair. Um, you could also line up the left of, like, with the, the right side of that, uh, weird tower thing. Um, you want to slow down here, though, otherwise you will probably drive off. And there's a few different things you could do here. Um, oh, hopefully don't fall off here. But you could get out close to it and jump out and hit the trigger. Uh, if you want to be extra safe, probably only if you're doing this in full game for some reason. Uh, what I would do though is you just want to get really low and you could just kind of drift through the trigger. And as long as you're low enough, you'll not teleport. Um, if you are too high, you definitely will teleport. So just be mindful of that. Um, and right here, what you're pretty much going to do is uh, this next one is another precise lineup um, it can screw with people kinda like the last one so just beware but just come through here hit the trigger and drive back and these last two triggers are pretty simple uh, the next one is a mid with a load, except the load is different. Um, it's actually on the way to the um, like to the actual trigger, so 
You don't have to jump out of the hog for it. And you don't have to worry about the scarab or anything like hitting you because it's not even in your way. But you'll see if you just drive, you'll hit the load. Uh, as long as you're far enough to the left, go through the middle. And this last trigger here um, is probably the simplest of all because you don't have to worry about getting teleported according to Hark, which, well, saves you not a whole lot of time, but uh, as you'll see here, uh, you can pretty much just go through the right side of the trigger um, and get onto this uh, little uh, raised flat area. <laughs> um, and you want to drive down kind of slow, not too slow, otherwise you probably will fall timer. Um, I'm trying to maybe stop to show that, but uh, bad checkpoint. Um, but once you're down, uh, you can pretty much just drive into the tunnel, and uh, you can't go around either just because there's kill barriers, and you do have to hit a trigger in this tunnel. Uh, maybe on co-op we could find some out for that. But we'll just head through that trigger. Um, everything is pretty much normal from here on out. So nothing too special here. Just kill your grunts at the end. And basically 20 seconds after they die, buck teleports. And that's when your last split would be triggered. So uh, yeah, pretty simple. Um... Overall, pretty cool trick. I'm really happy that, you know, well, it's the only trick I've found, but really happy with it. Um, I hope someday it becomes full game viable, but obviously it w we would need to make things more consistent. Um, I will say, when I recorded this, I spent probably eight minutes on the second launch before I actually got it, so... Uh, yeah, just for those, you really just got to find something that works for you. Um, I know Hark's lineups are slightly different from mine, uh, because mine just didn't work for him. So, it really depends on FOV, apparently. I think it might depend on, I mean, I play with Lowered Crosshair, fight me. Um, might depend on that, it just different things, um, but, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope I helped.